Hi, I'm Cliff Matthews, and I've been helping people to build authentic self-esteem and live meaningful and successful lives, both in their personal lives as well as in their business world, for the past 30 years. Authentic self-esteem is the foundation, it's the rock for success and meaning in life. It's different from self-confidence because self-confidence is transient. It is situational, it comes and it goes, and it gets manifest in different situations. Whereas self-esteem is the foundation to a meaningful and successful life. Hi, we're living in difficult times. We need to keep safe, we need to keep safe at home, and we need to sanitize, as the scientists have told us. At the moment, the guy who's taking this video is sitting two meters away from me, and we have proper and safe social distancing. Hi everybody, my name is Cliff Matthews, and I've been helping people to build authentic self-esteem in their personal and in their business lives for the past 30 years. Self-esteem is an interesting concept. It is different from self-confidence. It is the rock and the foundation to a meaningful and successful life. Self-confidence is transient. It is situational. In one situation, you may feel extremely confident as a business person, but you may not feel that confident as a father, as a partner, and it's therefore different from self-esteem. Self-esteem is the foundation that everything else in terms of success and meaning gets built upon. People, we're in the midst of one of the most challenging and interesting times that we've been in in modern history. But it also, with all its challenges, has produced some of the most authentic, simplistic and wonderful moments. A few weeks into the pandemic, a concert was put online from home featuring some of the icons of the music industry over the last 40 or 50 years, as well as some up-and-coming artists who displayed amazing skill, amazing ability and amazing talent. Mick Jagger, Michael Bublé, Elton John, Annie Lennox, Lady Gaga, and the list goes on and on. They were at home. They were in their tracksuits. There was no makeup. There was no glitz. There was no glamour. They were just there, being authentic, simplistic, and wonderful. Even Elton John toned down his normal, very flamboyant act uh, to be as simple as possible in keeping with what we're experiencing at the moment. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, who's this guy Cliff Matthews, and what right does he have to talk about the concept of self-esteem? Well, there are a number of reasons. Firstly, I have a strong academic background in the field of psychology, in business, and in the social sciences in general. Secondly, I have consulted to major corporations, ranging from the petrochemical industry through to the retail industry of organizations doing billions every year, through to people who have been in deep distress as a result of personal issues, as well as, and more recently, uh, working with people who have severe substance abuse issues and helping them to gain some comfort in their lives. Thirdly, I have authored and self-published a book called This Way Forward, which deals directly with the concept of self-esteem and in a unique way gives tools and action plans in order to enhance your existing self-esteem. And fourthly, if you look on the side of my head, you'll see a little bit of grey hair. In that way, I've heard it all, I've seen most of it, and I've done a whole lot of it myself. Guys, please keep safe and sanitize regularly. The market is flooded with motivational and inspirational speakers that stand on stage and talk to thousands of people at the same time, inspiring them to very high lofty goals. 
billions in an instant, Ferraris in the garage, fancy houses on idyllic Caribbean islands, and a partner who is gorgeous and who is wonderful. For some people, that's exactly what they need, exactly what they want. Some even go on to achieve those high and lofty goals, and some walk away disappointed. Some of these people say that all you need to do is stand in front of the mirror in the morning and chant some meditations. Some of them suggest that you stand in front of the mirror in the morning and chant some affirmations. Others suggest that you walk across some hot coals. And others suggest that you just swipe right on Tinder and everything will be wonderful. I'm offering something different. Remember the guy who sold his Ferrari and went on to become a spiritual leader? Had a Ferrari in the first place to sell. The young guy who left Harvard at his, in his first year of university to go on and produce the most phenomenal social media platform ever was managed to be selected to the hallowed halls of Harvard in the first place. And the British entrepreneur who started an airline and made billions came from a middle class English family. They worked their butts off. There were no quick fixes. There were no magic ones. There were no silver bullets. They worked hard to achieve what they've achieved.